Hi guys, my name's Lauren Harper. I'm a third year student at the University of South Wales studying TV and film set design. And in this vlog, I am going to talk about whether going to uni is the right decision after college. The most important thing is that you make the correct decision for you. Take advice with a pinch of salt. Don't go somewhere just because your friends are going. You need to really be passionate about the subject that you want to study if you go to uni, because you are dedicating a couple of years of your life to it. Also, what you need to consider is that you don't need to go to uni to be successful. It's not the only option available to you guys. You could do an apprenticeship, you could go straight into work, you could travel. It all depends on what you want to do. If, however, you know that there's a subject that you're very interested in, or there's a specific job that you really want to get into, and that needs a degree and the training that comes with it, then uni is the right decision. The most important thing is to do your research. You are going to have to pick five choices out of the possibly hundreds of options available to you, so you need to start narrowing them down. What you've got to look at is the university in general, what's its reputation, what are the courses like, has it got any sort of standing in the field that you want to get into. Take a look at the course. What exactly is it that you would be taught? Is it a specialised area of the subject area you want to get into? And is that what you want to specialise in? Also, look at the way that the course is marked. Some people hate exams. I don't particularly enjoy sat down examinations, so I went for a course that was more coursework based because that linked in with the art subject that I wanted to do anyway. Check out the general location of the university. Some people will be happy to move all the way across the country or even to different countries, whereas it's absolutely fine to want to stay closer to home so that you have easier access to go back and visit your parents. Another thing to consider is that not everything you gain from uni will be just the paper-based kind of certificate you get at the end of it. You will develop a network of friends that you will probably stay in contact with for the rest of your life. I moved in to a flat with no one that I knew in first year and in third year I am still living with one of the guys and with two of my course mates and I feel like we're probably going to end up living together next year as well. Also, moving away from home can be a real big bonus for some people. It helps you build up your confidence a bit, you gain a lot more independence, you learn how to sort of handle rent and bills but still in that sort of safety net of being at uni and having close contact with your parents and it can help sort of builds you up as a person. If you're at uni, some of the courses that you're on will provide you with work experience opportunities which you wouldn't necessarily be able to get if you weren't going on a university course. I have done work experience on Doctor Who down in the Bay, which is only about a 20 minute walk from here, and on various other TV shows and things like that, which I couldn't have dreamed to get on if I hadn't been on the course that I'm currently on. One of the things that you do have to consider is student finance, because you will, if you accept it, leave uni with a little bit of debt. I'm going to explain what it is that you're going to get and how it will help you, because it is a positive thing and it can help you learn to manage your money, but you will have to consider the side effects of it. So when you start uni, you will be provided with a tuition fee loan, that is paid directly to the uni and that covers the cost of your course, whether it's eight grand, nine grand per year, and you don't have to worry about that, it gets paid straight to the uni. This is something that you have to pay back, but I'll explain that in a little bit. Another thing you get is a maintenance loan and maybe a maintenance grant as well. These are paid directly to you at the beginning of term, straight into your bank account. So at the end of each term, you usually find people praying that the money will appear soon. <laughs> The amount you get for these depends on your current financial situation, so when you fill in on the student finance website the kind of application that you need to do, they will calculate for you how much that you're likely to get. Now both of the loans are things you need to pay back, but you don't have to pay them back until you're earning over £21,000 a year. This is quite a lot, so for several years you might not even have to pay anything back. After that they start taking a small portion out of your paycheck, but if you haven't paid it all back after 30 years, they just scrap the whole thing so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Obviously, this is something you've got to consider when applying to uni because you will leave with a little bit of debt. But I personally feel that the positive effects of uni have way outweighed the fact that I'm going to have to pay back a little bit out of my paycheck for the next couple of years. The most important thing is that you do what you feel is right for you. There are many positive uh, elements that you can get out of coming to university, but if you really don't want to do it, you don't have to. Best of luck with any UCAS applications, best of luck with exams, college in general. Uh, I hope you like this vlog, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye!